Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and welcome to this tutorial on how to implement jQuery into your page. Okay, so as you can see, I have a blank page open in my browser. I've also got jQuery.com at the ready to download the latest version. And I also have my text editor here open in my page, or rather the page that I'm currently working on. Now, to download jQuery, you can do this in a variety of different ways. However, the method that I prefer is to create a new page and we're going to copy and paste the jQuery library code into this page and then save it out. So let's just take a look at my directory structure. You can see that at the moment I've got index.php open and I've created a folder called JS, which stands for JavaScript. You can see that at the moment this folder is empty. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save the jQuery code inside of here and call it just jQuery.js. Remember we use a JS extension for JavaScript files. So let's go ahead and open um, up the jQuery website. I'm going to make sure I've got production uh, selected because I am actually just using this to write uh, using jQuery. And I'm going to click download. And as we've seen in the last part of the tutorial, this just essentially opens up in our browser. So let's go ahead and copy in the entire page. And we're going to go ahead and paste it into this document here. OK, so you can now see that that's been pasted into uh, my text editor. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save it in JS and I'm going to call the file jQuery.js. I'm going to press enter to save that. So now we've got jQuery saved, we can close it because we know where it is, we don't need to modify the file itself. And now that we've saved it, we actually need to implement it into our page. Now I'm not going to be using valid HTML, I'm just going to go ahead and write out a very basic HTML template. Uh, the reason I'm not using uh, valid HTML uh, and a valid HTML template is just simply so we can focus more on the include of the jQuery and then the content in the body area. So inside of our head area, we're actually going to need to include jQuery. So let's go ahead and say script type equals, and then we end a script. Okay. So in here, we would usually write our code in here, as, you know, our JavaScript code. I'm not actually going to be doing that. I'm just going to include a type and then a source. Now the type is text forward slash JavaScript as we usually write when we are opening up a script tag with uh, JavaScript code. And then we need a source. And this uh, source is JS forward slash jQuery dot JS. That's where we saved it earlier. Okay, so now when we save this and run, run our um, page in our browser, this is actually, uh, we've actually run the jQuery library. Okay, so we've got, we now have access to our jQuery library. So inside of body, we can actually try to test this. Okay, so the example I'm gonna use is I'm gonna create a paragraph tag and I'm gonna have some text in here. And I'm gonna say click here to hide me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an on click event to this paragraph tag and that's essentially going to hide this paragraph tag. So probably one of the most basic examples you could actually use. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our event. If you're not familiar with uh, HTML events, then I suggest you look them up. We have on click equals something. Now with jQuery, we use a dollar sign before the thing that we want to hide. And then we put the thing that we want to hide, the selector in brackets. And in this case, it's this. And this now refers to the actual paragraph element on here because we've called it from inside the p tag. And after this, I'm just going to do dot, and then we can include the function that we want to carry out on this element. And that function is going to be hide. And then we're going to just end with a uh, line terminator or a semicolon. Okay, so inside here, we can give this a parameter of um, a milliseconds. So I could say 1000, which would be a second, or I could say 500, which would be half a second. I'm going to go for a second. And essentially what this is going to do is it's automatically going to animate this hiding itself away. And it's going to take one second to complete the animation. That's essentially how easy it is. Now, if you wanted to say find more, um, find more parameters that hide takes, and it does take three parameters, I believe, you can actually go to the jQuery library documentation and have a look there and it will tell you all the information you need. That's one great thing about the jQuery documentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. If we just go ahead and refresh, 
you can see that we've got click here to hide me. Now when I click it, you can see that it just disappears and you saw the animation effect that we got. Now, just this simple example, uh, we've seen that uh, jQuery has now actually been successfully um, implemented into our page. We've included this script into our page. Otherwise, this wouldn't have worked because this is a jQuery functionality. Let's just remove that to demonstrate how it wouldn't have worked. When I click it, nothing happens. Okay, so that's essentially how you include jQuery into your page. Uh, I suggest you use valid HTML. I've already explained the reasons that I'm not for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, however, you now have um, included jQuery and you've simply tested it.